Hello everyone, welcome to a new Babylon.js video. Today I'm going to talk again about the Node Material Editor, just because I love it and also because I am currently working on it and we are working hard to make sure that we have everything ready for 4.1. So you know what, let's jump into the Node Material Editor. Today what I would like to do is to create a simple Node Material and just use it in the playground. Uh, we had the question on the latest video, how can we use the code that we are generating here in the playground? And I'll show you how to do that, okay? So uh, let's just create a simple texture plus light, something that we know now how to do. I'm gonna just take that here. I'm gonna also take a light node here and I'm gonna wire everything. So the texture, I will just upload um, my tree here, for instance. Okay, great. Uh, I'm gonna just plug all of these guys together and I also need a multiplier here to multiply all of them together and merge them into the fragment output. Okay, so here I need the wall position. Good news, I already have it. And then I need the world normal. So I'm gonna add the normal coming from the mesh here. And I'm gonna just drop that here. I'm gonna take the world position transform here, copy and paste it. And I will then get here, not the, the world post, but the world normal. I'm just gonna rename that, that so it will be clearer when we're gonna use it in the code, in the playground, okay? I'm gonna write that down here. Write that, wire that into the light here. Okay, let me just clean that up. Okay, and now I'm going to take the texture color. I will multiply it by the diffuse output from the light, and then I will output that. Boom. And then I have a lighted with a, a sphere with a texture. So please note that we added uh, more objects, including a more complicated shader ball here that will be just helpful for you guys to um, see how uh, your um, shaders work. You can also click on the play button now that will just make it rotate slowly. And you can also change and that will be saved with your settings. For instance, the background of your uh, preview here. So it gives you a good um, tool to pre-visualize pre all of that, okay? Uh, now there is a button here that I, I would like to mention. It's the embed textures. So uh, you have the option to save a file or the code of your node material and store the texture itself. So you don't have to worry about loading it later. I'm gonna keep it uh, turned on and I'm gonna generate code, okay? So let me just remove the picture in picture for a few seconds here. I will open that guy and then restore the picture in picture. So you, you can see me talking. Okay, here I have a shader which was saved uh, as code. You can always obviously save it, or you can also save it as a unique URL that will generate here the URL you can share, okay? Uh, so now, now let's go to the playground. Playground, playground.babylonjs.com, okay? And inside this playground, I would like to apply to, let's say, my sphere here. I'm going to remove the ground. I don't need it. I would like to apply the shader I just created, okay? So let me get the code. And you just have to do one thing. Copy and paste it here inside the, um, the playground or your own code, obviously. And see, we have the entire code here with a long line, which is a texture, because we checked the embed texture inside the output. I'm going to, again, remove my face from that stuff so I can code. Okay, here. And then I have my node material, which is entirely set up and wired exactly like in our um, node material. And what I can do here is just say, okay, my sphere dot material, dot material, sorry, I misclicked, dot material is equal to node material. And that's it. That's pretty much it. I just need to run that and boom, I have my shader here, which is ready uh, to be used and I can uh, develop with that, okay? And we can even do uh, some kind of inception because I can then ask the inspector to come and from the inspector, I can edit again my uh, shader by just clicking here on edit and it will pop up the, the shader where you can live change it um, from directly the inspector. 
And that's pretty much it for today, guys. I wanted to do a, a short demo. I hope you're gonna like it. Do not hesitate to use the comments so you can give us more idea on video you want to, uh, to see. So you will have understand that. We try to focus on mostly on the new feature of 4.1. So I try to focus on the node material editor because we have so many things to share with you guys. I already seen some example of uh, uh, new shaders created thanks to it and that's, I love that, let's be honest. From someone who created the tool, I create the hammer, you build the house. I love that. It's definitely something I want to see as much as possible. So thank you very much, everyone. Have a nice day. See ya. Bye bye.